Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Today we're going to be printing sweatshirts from start to finish. Like and subscribe if you like this content and let us know what you want to see next. Let's go pre-treat. All right, so here we are at the direct treater duel in our production area. We've got our settings for the dark cotton pre-treat since these sweatshirts are 80% cotton, 20% polyester. So we've got it on the three setting for volume. We've got it one pass in two directions. Alternatively, you could do two passes one direction. It'll give you the same thing. We're gonna spray the whole garment and then hit start. So we're gonna open it up. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and feed it in. When you're working with larger garments like this, things with sleeves, you wanna go ahead and feed in the end of the garment first, and then it'll kinda of go in easier than uh, just stuffing everything in the hole. And same thing with the hood. End first. Just like that. We don't need to pre-treat that area at all. Center it as best you can. That bottom pocket goes over the edge, tuck it in. With the sweatshirts, there's a little bit more work involved because you don't need to pre-treat those extra spaces. Okay, and there we have it. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It just needs to be flat in the area that you want to put the pre-treat. Put the drawer in. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take it out. I'm gonna pick it up with the pre-treat facing you so it's easy to take onto the heat press. I'm gonna come right over here. So we're gonna drop this onto the heat press right here. In this case, I've got it on sideways so that it's a little bit easier to press the whole area that we just pre-treated. That pocket that didn't get the pre-treat can go over the edge. Get one of our silicone curing sheets. We have it at 320 degrees. Pressure's too high. We want it on a medium pressure. I'm gonna do the first press at five seconds. Especially when testing out a, a garment for the first time. First press at five seconds, second press 10 seconds, and then 20 seconds each time until the garment is dry to the touch. Flip the sheet after every press. Okay. All right, so this is all dry, ready to go. Next you see me, we're gonna be over by the printer. We're gonna print this bad boy and see what we can get. All right, so we've got our pre-treated sweatshirt here. Let's go ahead and load it onto the printer and get rocking. So we've got it here. I'm gonna load it sideways in order to have the maximum print area. Since I don't really need to print on this pocket down here, it's not gonna make that big of a difference if I turn it sideways. I'll just get more print area out of it. So just like on the pre-treat machine, it's important to feed in the end of these long bits of the garment so that it's easier to get this guy nice and flat. For things like the sleeves, it doesn't technically need to be tucked in. As long as it's below your print area, that's okay. In this case, tucking in the sleeve is quite easy, so I'd prefer to do that uh, than risk it coming up during a print. Okay. Okay. So we've got it just about ready. Next, I just want to tuck it in so it'll stay nice and flat. 
You wanna make sure not to stretch it too much. Otherwise, you'll be left with a warped print when you take it off. And with sweatshirts, you wanna eliminate as much trial and error as possible. These guys can get expensive. When working with things like this, you always wanna get on eye level and visually check that the whole garment is sitting nice and flat. If the camera can make it out, this corner is sitting up just slightly. So we want to go ahead and tuck that in a little extra just to prevent any chance of a head strike. Let me get down again, make sure it's looking good. Make sure this platen is all the way square into the corner. Since I was touching it, I just want to double check one last time and we can adjust the height. With the thicker garments like this, you really don't have that much clearance, so it's really important you tuck it in as best you can. So now we're gonna go into the Direct Rip software. All the settings are gonna be the same, except for two things. One, I wanna make sure that I rotate my graphic to account for the garment being rotated. And I also want to add the white layer to 2080 by 1440. And the reason for this is because with sweatshirts, they're quite porous. And regardless of how much pre-treat you put on, you'll always see some of those gaps in the fibers. So adding more ink is the best way to combat that, that look. All right, so we're all ready to print. All right, so the print is done. Next, we're gonna take this over to the heat press. We're gonna cure it at 320 degrees, 90 seconds, three times, since we added that little bit of extra ink on the white under base. All right, so I've set the heat press to 320 degrees. We have it on a uh, light pressure of a one or a two. Um, when you're working with thicker garments like this, you do need to uh, loosen it up a little bit more on the pressure to account for the thickness of the garment. We're gonna use one of the craft sheets right on down. The pressure is too high. Okay. The sheet came up there, but you don't need to move the sheet. In some cases that can be Less than ideal, if the ink hasn't set on the surface, it could take some ink with it on the sheet. And one last time. All right, so it's all finished. Take the sheet off and there's our finished product. All right, so that's the finished product. If you want more information, click the link in the description. If you wanna see more content from us in the future, comment below what you wanna see.